kabataan atong kaumaon kini kanan atong kaaba komunidad atong kausa gidalit kaninyo sa Department of Education Region 10 sa Ambihan ng Mindanao o niining estasyon ang programa nga maoy tumong o tinguha ang pagpadayon sa edukasyon paniwala sa bisan unsang katalagman sa ingon ni ini padayon nga makakaton ang kabataan ug makabot damlag ang ilang mga pangangyo kini ang DepEd RX Adobe mga higala ani ana ang inyong magtutudlo Grade 8 learners, welcome to our English class. I am Teacher Edge from Lagindingan National High School, District of Lagindingan, Division of Misamis Oriental. Today, I am your English teacher on the air. Today, I hope you're all fine. Have you eaten your meal already? If so, then you are now active and are ready to learn a new lesson. So now, please grab a chair and sit comfortably as we will begin our lesson. Today, you're going to learn the correct sounds in our English language. Can you still remember the two basic sounds of speech? Mm-hmm. So to refresh your knowledge on the sounds of speech, let us study today phonemes and phonics. Maybe you might ask what are phonemes and phonics? Well, a phoneme is the smallest unit of speech that can be used to make one word different from another word. In manipulating the sounds in words, it includes blending, stretching, or otherwise changing the words. Please listen to the following examples. Bell, bike, and boy all have b at the beginning. The beginning sound of dog, duck, and dinosaur is d. The ending sound of sit, pet, and cat is the combining or blending sound of lap is l, a, p, and the breaking or segmenting sound of up is a, p. Oh, interesting phonemes! We shall now proceed to phonics. It is the study of sound or a method of teaching people to read and pronounce words by learning the sounds of letters groups of letters, and syllables. Phonics can also help in spelling. For example, a student learns that the initial sound in pig is the same as that in pen and pet, so they conclude that they must write that sound with the same letter P. Wow! Wonderful phonics! Therefore, we conclude that phonemes make learning not only memorable but also fun. And phonics help us not only to read but also to understand the English language. This makes our English language so much easier. How was it, dear students? Did you understand our lesson today? Wow, that sounds great! Does it mean that you are now ready for a quiz? Oops! I hear your heart beating fast! Don't be afraid! I know you can do it! But, just to make sure that you really learned today, I'm going to ask questions for a recap. Are you now ready? <laughs> My 
my first question is, what are the two basic sounds of speech? Very good! Next, what is meant by phonemes? Good job! What are the examples of phonemes? Great idea! What is meant by phonics? Marvelous! What are the examples of phonics too? Wow! Excellent! You are now really ready for a quiz. Before we start, I will give you a minute to prepare a pen and a whole sheet of paper. Just listen carefully and follow instructions properly. We shall now start from activity number one which is about phonemes. First, number your paper from 1 to 10. I will read the instruction first and again, listen very carefully. On your paper, put an X after the number if the item is wrong and put a check if the item is right. I will dictate the items twice, so let us begin. Number one, cat, bat, cat, bat. Number two, star, car, star, car. Number three, dog, cow, dog, cow. Number four, mad, sad. Mad, sad. Number five, far, jar. Far, jar. Number six, lamp, plate. Lamp, plate. Number seven, cup, pop. Cup, pop. Number eight, book, frog, book, frog. Number nine, pen, can, pen, can. And number ten, rain, train, rain, train. Please get ready for activity number two, which is about phonics. Just number your paper from one to six only. This time, I will dictate to you a sentence first, then the specific words to spell. Please write the correct spelling of the words being dictated to you. Again, listen very carefully. I will read the items twice also. Are you now ready? Then let us start. Number one. The quilt is set on the bed. The quilt is set on the bed. The word to spell is quilt. The word to spell is quilt. Number two. Dad got a gift from us. Dad got a gift from us from us. The word to spell is gift. The word to spell is gift. Number three. The elf will toss a knot in the well. The elf will toss a knot in the well. The word to spell is elf. The word to spell is elf. Number four. The red pants are made of silk. The red pants are made of silk. The word to spell is silk. The word to spell is silk. Number five. Mom will help me when I have a cut. Mom will help me when I have a cut. The word to spell is cut. The word to spell is cut. And number six. I like to eat hot dogs when we camp. 
I like to eat hot dogs when we camp. The word to spell is camp. The word to spell is camp. Oops, it's checking time. Let us find out if all your answers are correct. Here are the correct answers for activity number one. Number one, cat, bat, is check. Number two, star, car, is another check. Number three, dog, cow is wrong. Uh oh. <coughs> Number four, mad, sad is correct. <coughs> Number five, far, jar is another correct answer. <coughs> Number six, lamp, plate, is wrong. Aww. Number seven, cup, pop, is right. Number eight, book, frog, is wrong. Oh no! <coughs> Number nine, pen, can is correct. <laughs> and for number ten, rain, train is the right answer. For activity two, here are the correct answers. Number one, the correct spelling of quilt is Q U I L T, quilt. Number two, gift, G I F T, gift. <laughs> Number three, elf, E L F, elf. Number four, silk, S I L K, silk. I love it when you call me senorita. Number five. Cut. C U T. Cut. <laughs> and lastly, number six. Camp. C A M P. Camp. <laughs> The highest score is 10 for Activity 1 and 6 for Activity 2 for a total of 16. How was it? What is your score? Oh, you got a perfect score? Excellent! Good job! Congratulations!
Congratulations, dear students. You are very amazing today. Now, you are all ready for the next lesson in English 8. And before we end our lesson today, let us all pause for a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the given knowledge and good health. Please protect us as we continue our journey amidst this pandemic. May our learnings today serve as our weapon to still pursue our dreams. Please put upon us your loving hands and purify our heart, mind, and body. All this we ask and pray with the intercession of Mama Mary, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before your teacher bids goodbye, let me share to you a quote from W.B. Yeats. Education is not the feeling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. This has been Teacher Edge saying, Keep safe everyone and happy learning. Thank you for listening. Ugin hinatapos ang ating programa. Kini ang DepEd RX Adobe. Gidalit ka ninyo sa Department of Education, Region 10 sa Amihan ng Mindanao. Kining tanan at gihimo para sa kabataan. Hangtod sa sunod natong panag-uban. Daghang salamat.